My name is Mike Schultz. I grew up, you know, uh, in the outdoors. My father is an avid hunter, uh, an avid angler, uh, and exposed me to fishing and the outdoors at an early age. Mid-teenage years, uh, one of my really good buddies in high school, his dad was a, a salmon and a steelhead fisherman. And he took us salmon fishing one fall, and that's pretty much all I needed. Got a smaller fly rod, like around a five or a six weight, I think it was a six weight, uh, that winter, uh, and turned my attention, believe it or not, right here, right on the Huron River in Ypsilanti. The closest moving water that I could find. I grew up in, in Canton, just down the road. There was nights that I had fished down this river and you know the sun setting and I looked up here and you'd see Depot Town and thought, man, you know, that'd be a pretty good place to have a fly shop. And here we are today, the business is, is going extremely well. We've really created an angling community around the smallmouth bass, around the warm water scene around here. Um, and it really shows here at the shop. We got some funny looks when we said we were coming to Ipsy, but Ipsy's been really good to us. It's a great little town here with close access to the river, which allows us to do a lot of presentations and events and on-stream demos and whatnot. <laughs> Let's get this out of the way. Who doesn't have a partner? There's so many things okay. going on that we'd like to you know, support whenever we can, and the Huron River Watershed Council has really embraced that and sees what we're doing, and you know, it's probably been seven, eight years now um, that we've been working directly with them. Uh, the, the, the single fly tournament is just one of the things that we do. We work together and raise money, raise awareness, and it just works. The Huron River is a beautiful river for recreation and it's also wonderful for beginning fly anglers because it's much easier to wade than some of our other larger, more unstable streams. So it's just a great resource and it's right downtown. My name's uh, Jay Cooper and we're on the Huron River right behind uh, Schultz Outfitters. We're uh, fishing for smallmouth bass for the single fly, uh, me and my stepbrother Nick Connell. Personally, I like catching the fish, that's the funnest part. It is different from regular fishing. You're using both your hands in like in a different way than just reeling in. Instead, you're stripping out line instead of opening a bale and casting. It's just a lot more active. Instead of just sitting down casting, you gotta stand up. We're waiting right now. It's a lot of fun. We're big fans of Mike. I know for, for me, he's up my game as far as how well I've been able to fish and I've learned a lot about this actual fishery and he's really got it dialed in. Well, Mike's just enthusiastic, and he loves the river, and his enthusiasm for it is contagious. He's done a great job developing the fishery. He's really um, brought a lot of fishermen to the river, and fly fishermen tend to be about conserving the resource. Thanks again for coming out, supporting the single fly and the Huron River uh, Watershed Council. We definitely have some prizes to give away. We always do the overall title for the team, Big Fish. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not a scientist ladies. or a fisheries biologist by any means, but from what I hear and the connections that I have, it, it seems like we're on the up and up. I mean, the river is uh, constantly improving, constantly getting better. The Watershed Council and us and, and other business owners, you know, really uh, making it a priority. I think you're just going to continue to see the Huron get better and better.